Are you a professor of medicine? Then you might know that this is a heart. And 10 points if you knew that this structure is called the aorta, the main blood vessel leaving the heart, supplying the body with oxygenated blood. And the aorta features a very clever piece of evolutionary engineering that we've only recently proven, yet Leonardo da Vinci predicted correctly 500 years ago. Pressures within the aorta can be quite considerable. A normal human's blood pressure is about 120 millimeters of mercury, roughly equivalent to a swimming pool at the depth of about 5 feet. But the highest recorded blood pressure belongs to a giraffe which reaches almost 400 millimeters of mercury. So I know what you're thinking and it's an obvious question really. Yes, how far in the air would blood go if you cut someone's head off? Well today we're going to find out. seems the ethics committee had some issues with that plan, whatever, but genuinely this is a lot more interesting. See this bulge at the bottom of the aorta here, just above the aortic valve. This is called the sinus of Valsalva, named after Antonio Valsalva, who described it some 200 years after Leonardo da Vinci, the star of this video. Now, you probably shouldn't regard the turtle's intro as historical fact. Raphael was, of course, cool, but he wasn't that rude, and Donatello wasn't the engineer techie dude. He was an artist. It was Leonardo that was the real whiz with machines. Even the great polymath Michelangelo didn't excel in such disparate fields as Leonardo. And nothing demonstrates his genius and ability to combine his interests of engineering, anatomy, science, and art as beautifully as his work on the heart. He looked at this bulge and saw it repeating in the aorti, aorti, a, aortas of oxen, pigs, sheep, cows and humans and he realised it must have a purpose. Indeed, our aforementioned giraffe has a sinus of Valsalva, as do all mammals and several other classes of animal. So what's it for? If you're friends with a doctor, try this. Ask them how the aortic valve closes. Remember, this is the one leaving the heart. They will say that blood is pumped out, slows, and then as it stops, it starts to fall back and the valve shuts. This is wrong. If that were the case, then with each heartbeat, there would be some leaking of blood back into the heart and the leaflets would crumple up and fold incorrectly. So Leonardo clearly thought about this. Years earlier, he'd watched eddies formed in water that was squeezed through a narrow space and he realised this is what was happening when the heart was pumping blood through the aortic valve. He predicted the ejected blood would possess revolving impetus that would actively shut the valve before blood flowed backwards. He had predicted the sinus of Valsalva was shaped specifically to create vortices in order to close the aortic valve in the most efficient way possible with no leak. Leo being Leo, he built a glass model through which he pumped water. In the water were grass seeds so that he could visualize the flow dynamics and these are his beautiful sketches showing what he saw. Incredibly, it took 450 years to prove him right. An engineer called Brian Bellhouse and his team built an updated model in 1969 which confirmed the vortices and that the aortic valve closes before the ejection of blood has finished, just as Leonardo had theorised. And just in the last few years, we were able to use 4D flow cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, which is what I spend some of my time doing, and here you can see the exact vortices Leonardo da Vinci predicted without any modern technology almost 500 years ago.